Hey everybody, welcome to ZI Reacts. This is your editor in chief, Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz, joined by your managing editor, hey, Darren what's going on? Har yeah. the I don't know, it's fifth, eighth, ninth, second. I know it's second. It sounds right. better than junior. <laughs> hey kid. <laughs> Alright. Uh so if it's not obvious already, we have a lot to go over. We have not done a ZI Reacts in a long time because we haven't had anything to instantly react to that really matters. And it's just been lots of rumors which aren't necessarily worth a reaction because they're not news, uh, per se. They're potential news. Uh, so now we had a huge event happen really, really early this morning. Uh, or uh, I'll just put the date out there. On the 27th, uh, in Japan, they had their... Uh, shareholders meeting which is what they do at uh, they do it like two or three times a year but the biggest one is this one because it is the end of the fiscal year of 2015 uh, and they go over all the financials from that and they usually try to pep you up for like you know hey look we have some exciting stuff coming down the line because mm -hmm. um, they don't want their their stocks to just tank you know like say they you know had bad profits profits for the, the past year or whatever uh so uh you know the investor meeting had a lot of cool stuff, but we're going to get right into the big stuff and save the small stuff kind of for the end because the big stuff's what we what you guys care about. Uh, and there's two big things we're going to get going right off the, off the bat. First is that the NX is arriving in March 2017. Uh, yeah, so we yeah. finally, I mean, we have a release date or a release month for the console before it, it's even shown off, which a little weird. Um... And we also know that Zelda U is delayed to uh, 2017, and it will be a dual release on the Wii U and NX. Not confirmed to launch with the NX, but it's probably a pretty safe bet. Yeah. Um, either way, it sounds like it's coming out at the exact same time on both consoles. So let's just start with those two big those two big factoids. Um, Darren, what do you think? What's your reaction to the, those uh, two big nuggets there? Well... As you said, it's a little strange to have a release date for a console that we know absolutely nothing about right now, other than yeah, that. Right? Other than it's getting Zelda NX. Um, you know, I think this is a product of Nintendo listening to the fans because everyone was speculating: Oh, is it going to launch holiday 2016? Is it going to launch summer 2017? I saw a lot of speculation over the past six months on that. Uh, you know, a lot of rumors and whatnot, so I think this is kind of Nintendo's way of saying, hey, we're listening, we're just going to squash these rumors right now and uh, give you a potential date. Uh, as for Zelda being delayed, uh, I'm a little sad, but at the same time, you know, a rushed game can be bad, so I'm hoping that they use this time to make Zelda Wii U the best Zelda game yet. Um, and as, if, as for it being a dual release, I kind of expected that. I have accepted it already because I really expected it a long time ago when the rumors first started coming out, so it's not really a surprise to me. But uh, yeah, that's basically my thoughts. Yeah, and it's interesting because, uh, you know, I apologize to people we seem subdued. I know there's a lot of our fans, especially on Facebook, um, I haven't read the comments on our site yet, uh, that are really, really upset that this is a dual release. Uh, you know, we've been trying to brace you for the reality that it was probably going to be a dual release uh, for a little over a year now. Uh, really, since the game was first delayed, it kind of felt like that's what's going to happen. They announced NX, this, like, that it exists the same year they announced Zelda's delayed. It just felt like the perfect storm of it's being delayed so it could be on NX. Um, that doesn't mean that's the only reason it was delayed. I'm sure they made, you know, they're not, they're not just going to delay a game. Uh, into 2016 and now into 2017 for NX and not do something with that development time. So um, I'm sure they did really use it to make the game a lot better. But uh, reality is that's that's what's going to happen, and it's something we probably should have accepted a long time ago. And I know a lot of people were living in denial. Um, HMK, I know as an example, was definitely living in denial. Um, if you, I don't know if anyone's seen his video yet. Uh, he was not happy at all. All. Oh yeah, he was not happy. <laughs> no. Uh, so, what? Uh, you know, the big news. I mean, the biggest news to me is that they that the NX is coming in 2017 instead of 2016. And you know, th there's a couple prevailing theories. Uh, if you want to believe what Nintendo said, uh, they said the reason it's not coming out 
and holiday 2016, like what would probably be ideal for a console launch, is because not enough games are ready for launch. Um, so they want to hit that, uh, you know, spring, that late spring uh, kind of area and early spring. I'm sorry, March 2017. It's pretty early in spring. Uh, so I, I I get it. Um, you know, that's not a bad time to launch hardware. They launched the 3DS uh, pretty early in the year. Uh, I think the Game Boy Advance originally launched early in the year. They just never launched a home console early in the year before. Um, but history kind of shows, based on their handhelds, that they haven't uh, slowed sales down. So I think it's – I'm okay with it coming, uh, you know, three months into 2017. It doesn't bother yeah. me. Um and I, I can respect that. I, yeah, I, I like, can like, respect his decision because yeah, I'd rather they launch it then than do what they yeah. did with the Wii U, where they're like, "We're going to launch it now, and we're going to have like this nine-month launch window to try to get games out." Um, that didn't work, so I don't. I, yeah, I'd rather them wait like four extra months and actually have like three or four really good games ready to go. Um, besides Zelda, I mean, obviously Zelda is going to be one of them, but. Um, you know, some exclusive NX games because it and is still I will coming buy to Wii U. All of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, for all you guys, like, it's still coming to Wii U. It's just not exclusive. Don't know why. I, I, I will never, ever understand why anybody cares about a game being exclusive because don't we play games for games? Like, who cares what console it's on as long as we get to play it? And you still get it on the console you bought to play it. So, yeah. Yeah, and let's be honest, how many of you guys were going to pick up NX right away anyways? It's probably going to be 300 400 heck, it might be $500. We have no idea. Um, so, look at the bright side. You're getting it on Wii U, and you don't have to buy an NX right away. Um, but that's just my thoughts. So, uh, you know, with NX coming at that point in 2017, it made a lot of sense. I think if NX was delayed to, like, holiday 2017, I don't think Zelda would have been a dual release. Yeah, I agree um, with that. But... Uh, you know, I given that it's just a few months after the holiday season, there, I why not delay it and try to make the launch of the NX even better? Uh, so, I think it's the best business decision they could possibly make. Um, I know a lot of fans disagree. Like, oh look, all the sales are gonna miss out on the Wii U. Uh, according to the updated sales number, the Wii U has sold 12.8 million units. They are projecting less than a million units sold this year. Um. Or this fiscal year, which uh, is another thing to talk about because it means that they're done with Wii U. That's what that tells me. <laughs> yeah. They're, if they're, they're projecting done. it to sell nothing, then that means that they don't have anything coming for it. Uh, and that kind of gets into the next point. And this is this is the weirdest part of all this. Like Zelda U B delayed again, NX, whatever. What I kind of expected something to happen with it. Let's hope in twenty sixteen. Uh, but here's the weird part. According to uh, official translations from Nintendo UK and people who were at the investors' meeting, because it first came from the people at the meeting, and then Nintendo UK did an official press release translation of it all. Um, the At E3, not only are they not going to show off the NX, so it won't be announced or shown off or anything about it at E3, which is really, really weird. Uh, they are only going to have one playable game, and that game is going to be Zelda. And not only is Zelda going to be the only playable game, they specifically said at like three different points in the press release that this E3 focus is basically strictly The Legend of Zelda. Um, that, that kind of excites me, but that also yeah, scares me a lot. It's weird. Like, <laughs> like I think everyone, like I'm Zelda, attending it's, E3. So it's I think everyone who's slow. attending I mean, E3 I'm realistically thought, fan. yeah. But, yeah, yeah, like we're, go yeah, we're, we're going to get... Um, we were going to always get Zelda U playable at E3. So, like, it being playable there isn't necessarily big news, even though it's new news. But the fact that, like, that's what they're focusing on E3, it's exciting because, I mean, anything you want to know about Zelda U, we're going to know at E3. And because they're not showing off the NX, everything we see of it, everything we play of it, it's all going to be in Wii U. Um, so, like, it's cool that we're going to get that big Zelda blowout that... I'd argue us Zelda fans deserve after having this game delayed now two times and skipping an E3. Uh, but that that sounds like that's pretty much what they have. 
and they're not. I mean, I'm, they're going to do a digital event most likely now. Without the NX being announced, they have no reason to do a live show. Um, so it's going to be a, a, a probably a digital event again, and I'm sure there'll be some other games. We know about you know the new Paper Mario game coming, um, you know, but they're probably not going to announce any NX games. So like if Pikmin Four was moved to NX, that's not going to be shown off. Um, you know, the new Pokemon games could get shown off. Uh, but it sounds like like Nintendo's president and CEO uh, basically came out and was trying to tell people, look, if you love Zelda, go to E3. Otherwise, we have nothing for you right now. Um, <laughs> that's what it sounded like to me. Which, it, it you know, did. For me, it's Zelda. I guess it's the first E3 I'm going to. So it's really exciting to know that, man, they're really going to blow me out of the water with the Zelda. And I'm going to be completely overwhelmed. And if that's the case, I'm assuming that the demo for Zelda U is going to be rather extensive. Um, prior demos usually lasted like 5 to 15 minutes and they're usually like 2 or 3 sections of the game uh, and they're not even sometimes sections that are in the game they're just s- samples of what gameplay are, is going to be like um, so if they're really focusing on Zelda I expect, you know, heck, I wouldn't be surprised if like, the entire first dungeon is playable um, you know, just if they're blowing us out just if you hate spoilers, you're going to want to avoid Zelda Informer during E3 because yeah. <laughs> I guarantee Nintendo is going to be spoiling the heck out of this game um, and that might not be a bad thing because Zelda U is their first truly open world Zelda game since like the very first Zelda game in the series. So like there might be all these spoilers and it might only be like one twentieth of the content in the game. Um, so yeah, I, it's, I'm excited about all the Zelda. I am disappointed that they are choosing to unveil the NX at its own event I'm guessing it's own event. Hopefully, it's a live event. Um, you know, akin to what uh, Sony and Microsoft did when they first unveiled their new consoles. Um, so I'm hoping it's something like that where they invite media out and they make a big deal out of it. Because um, if it's just a digital thing, yeah, it seems yeah. kind of underwhelming. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Well, what do you think about like Zelda being the only playable game? And um, I mean, to you, you're not going to be at E3, so it might not matter what's playable. Um, I don't know. What do you think, Darren? Well, to me, seeing as Zelda U is the only playable demo, uh, like you said earlier, that kind of means that there's not really noth- anything else to show regarding the Wii U. You know, I'm thinking maybe there's one or two unannounced Wii U games, but people keep telling me that I'm wrong. <laughs> so yeah. I, I might be, you know. I think the Wii U is done for, and Zelda Wii U is I, I, I even go hurrah. deeper than that. Um, I know that uh, Pokemon and I think Rhythm Heaven and like a couple other games are still coming to 3DS. Uh, I think Nintendo's 3DS and, and Wii U generations are both done. Really? Um, and oh, yeah. I think I think that's like yeah because okay so it's repeatedly said that um, and this is one of the things that uh, what was stated is that, uh, let, me, let me find the exact words so I don't say it wrong. Um, right. <laughs> basically, uh, uh, Tatsumi Kimi, Kimishima, I'm really sorry if I butchered that name, he uh, claimed that the NX is not going to replace the Wii U in the 3DS. Um, however, he later, and where's that quote? I sent that quote to the staff. Was it in the news chat? Yeah, it was in the news chat. Um, let me see. Uh and he said, uh, he said later to uh, the, the Japanese uh, newspaper Nikkei, uh, at this current stage, I'm not able to say much. Uh, however, it's not merely the successor to the handheld 3DS or the stationary console Wii U. This will be hardware that's been made with a new way of thinking, and I'd like to announce more particulars regarding its specs and how it works another time this year. Uh, so I look at that as it's, it, it's a successor to both. Um, and while the 3DS is still going to get like its big Pokemon game, um, you know, and a few other things, I th- I think beyond that there isn't anything else. Like that, that's it. They're done with it. Yeah, that that could oh, be and true. Mean Federation Force, you know, <laughs> Federation I, Force. Yeah, I I think the only reason they're even releasing like a Pokemon and some other stuff is just so they actually get some holiday sales. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, they might. They, I mean. I don't know if they were delayed Pokemon. They released uh, like was it Black and White two for DS while the 3DS was launched. It was really, it was really weird to be honest. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, like, yeah, buy our, new, buy our new 3DS, but our... But our Pokemon game. Yeah, I'm like, oh, buy our new 3DS, but our best game we have isn't for the 3DS. Have a good day. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness oh yeah um, so that's just my take I mean and you know, as you said you think the Wii U's done um, yeah. clearly it's done with Nintendo uh, projecting to barely ship any consoles uh, I think they said 800,000 or something like that in their financials for the next year and uh, projecting really low sales and the fact that Zelda U is the only playable game and yes it's the Wii U version but it's a game that's not coming out until 2017 now um I think it's clear that Nintendo has just accepted that they feel they did everything they could with the Wii U and they need to focus strictly on the NX and if that means they have to eat a holiday season for the first time probably in the company's history in the video game industry then they have to eat it and just deal with it and realize this next fiscal year is just not going to be good and there's nothing they can do. Which is a little sad. I mean, it's a little sad because I love my Wii U. I mean, it's an underpowered console, yada, yada, yada. Third-party support isn't there. But it has a lot of fun games. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of games that I have yet to purchase that have come out previously. But I'm a little sad that there's not going to be any more new titles. But at the same time, um, you know, it's good because Nintendo will focus everything they have on the NX and learn from the failure of the Wii U. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. Um, you know, I've been reading a lot of comments, you know, from early this morning to now, you know, on various websites, and that I, I understand that there is a lot of criticism going on of Nintendo right now. Um, you know, and, and I agree with a lot of it. Uh, the fact that they only have Zelda U playable at E3, and that you know they don't really don't have a lot else to talk about, and then they decide, look, we're not even going to show off NX, even though NX is coming out nine months later. Uh, that's really weird. Like, yeah. really, really weird. I mean, the only logic I can think of is that, okay, well, they figure the PS4K and the Xbox 1.5 or whatever is going to get announced. Um, and they want to have their own platform where, like, they don't have their thunder stole from them, um, which I understand. But, like, it's been proven over and over again that more worldwide media pays attention to E3 then they pay attention to any other time of the year. Oh, yeah. So I I just, I'm really confused, because they easily could be like, you know, like people were talking about showing off the NX before E3. Uh, you know, they easily get E3 could be like, look, this is what the NX is. Here's the specs. Here's the hardware. Here's what our u- new unique thing is. Here's our mission with it. And then, you know, if don't show off games yet, and then wait, you know, another, you know, show off like a tech demo or something. Uh, and then wait like you know, two three months, and then have a big blowout for all the software that's going to be there at launch. Um, yeah, Nintendo Direct. I mean, something. it, it kind of sounds like that what Nintendo's goal is right now is to not repeat mistakes of the past, and the only way they feasibly think they can not do that is they have to just pretend that their current systems don't exist, so they can literally put everything the company is doing into the NX. So, like, when it launches, not that it just has three or four really good launch games, but that a month later, there's another big game. A month later after that, there's another big game. And they just keep doing that the entire first year, which is what the Wii U didn't do. That's what the 3DS didn't do. Yeah, um, It didn't That's have consistent quality releases. And it, they really need to do it because the only chance they have of getting third parties back, they could have... The best hardware out there that's easily portable to and really cheap to release games on. They can have all of that. Third parties aren't coming if there's no audience. Um, and Nintendo knows that. So it needs to have big hitters the entire first year. Now, that does make the second year a little scary because if they release all these big games year one, what else do they really have left? You know, imagine if they release Splatoon, Mario Maker, uh, Smash, Mario Kart, Pikmin 3, and Zelda U all in the first year of the Wii U cycle. The Wii U would have sold really, really well and then had nothing for years. Um, so that is a d- legitimate fear. But, yeah, it's... Oh, all this news is just making my head spin, man. Yeah, it, it's a lot. I woke up this morning and I looked at the front page of the site. I'm like, holy crap. There's yeah, like, a lot it's, of it's crazy. 
Um, so we're just going to quickly rush over some other things that um, aren't necessarily as important, but they're kind of interesting. Uh, the Wind Waker HD has sold uh, 1.72 million units. They updated the sales on that. It is still in the top 10, I believe, for Wii U games. It is uh, I, I right at the bottom. So. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it's right at the bottom. I think it's actually number 10. Yep. Um, so, yeah, Which and isn't obviously, that bad for a remake and considering it's on the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, and they were only updating their million sellers, so we don't have, like, current numbers in Twilight Princess HD. Obviously, it hasn't sold over a million units yet, or it would have been on the million seller list. Um, but it'll it'll probably get there, since there's nothing else to buy this year. Um, and then <laughs> Ocarina of Time 3D uh, has officially crossed the 4 million mark. It's at 4.04 million. It's also one of the best-selling 3DS games. I think that also was at number 10 or number 9. Um and there's some 3DS games that have sold absolutely phenomenal, 15 plus million copies. So it's a, uh, you know, it, it's on the lower end of their million sellers. So uh, that's that's kind of it for the sales. We don't really have a lot of sales of any other Zelda stuff. Um, another another little tidbit is that they are probably going to still be making Wii U's until sometime in 2018. I think it was um, March. Yeah, there, there's no, there's no. Uh, official like word on this it's just what um some analysts uh who paid attention to the financial meeting kind of got out of it is that they're still going to make wii u's in 2017 but like at 2018 at some point they're just gonna kind of be done with it um and if i if i had to guess zelda u releasing next year also on wii u it's kind of a good reason to keep making wii u's for at least 2017 yeah. Um, because there's a high chance that when, you know, the good news for people who don't own a Wii U and don't want to pay $400 on, for the NX, like, when the NX comes out, the Wii U is probably getting another price cut. And it'll be really cheap to play Zelda U if you just want to play Zelda U. Um, so that should that should be really interesting. So, yeah, it, that's just, that, that's not really, that's based on the, the place. There's no facts in that, but it makes a lot of sense. They only plan to make, like, 800,000 units. This, uh, this current fiscal year. Um, and again, I mentioned that uh, Kimishima uh, said that there's no holiday launch for the NX because he wants to make sure they have games. Uh, they don't want to repeat the Wii U, uh, which, I, I mean, if you paid attention to the Wii U at launch, you will understand why Nintendo, why this delay of the NX is actually a good thing, even if it makes us Zelda fans really mad because this is the second major delay of a Zelda game. Um, arguably the only Zelda game that majority of Zelda fans care about. Um, so yeah, it's really frustrating. Remember, guys, it's coming in 2015. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Oh, now, this is really cool and really interesting. Uh, I, I kind of went over this quote earlier, but there's a little tidbit in it that is very different for Nintendo. So uh, later this year, they're going to have some sort of event, some sort of announcement for the NX, and they're going to do this big blowout. Like, that's kind of what... Uh, Kimishima kind of hinted at, like, it's not at E3, but, like, later this year they're going to do this big blowout for the NX, uh, which is great, cool. Um, what he said, Ilo, that's really interesting, is that they're going to announce particulars regarding its specs and how it works. So they're going to have, you know, all this information about, you know, what it does and what their goal is with it, you know, is it going to be, you know, hardware that gets upgrades over time, well, yada, yada, yada. Uh but the, what I want to focus in on is that first word we said regarding its specs. Particulars about the specs. Now, if you've been following Nintendo hardware the last handful of generations, Nintendo doesn't tell you anything about its specs and its systems. Like, absolutely nothing. Um, we still don't even know what the Wii U is fully capable of because they haven't told us what's in it. Um, everything we know about the Wii U's hardware is fan speculation uh, there's like threads at NeoGAF where like people took like X-ray pictures of like the dyes on there, and they're it's a custom die, and they're trying to figure out what it is and how fast it is. Like we still don't know exactly what the specs are of the Wii U beyond the RAM. The RAM is the easiest thing to figure out. Um, so yeah. it, it's it's one of those things that Nintendo usually doesn't talk about specs at all. They focus on here's a cool way to play games, and here are the games we have to play, and that isn't what they're putting their foot forward here they're saying we're going to announce the specs and how everything works that to me 
is a kind of a sign that Nintendo isn't going after the casual market anymore who doesn't give a hoot about specs. That, to me, is a sign that they're they're looking at the, the consistent consumers that show up and buy these consoles at launch and the ones that play on the PlayStation 4 right now, and they're like, look, we know you care about specs, so we're going to give it to you. I really hope you're right, Nate. I really hope. Like, don't. it's just it's just so weird because... I've been following Nintendo closely all these years, and they never said, hey, we're going to, when we announce this bad boy, we're talking about the specs. Like, that's never been a focus for them. Um, so, God, I think the last time they did it was like, now you're playing with power! Those old commercials. Um, <laughs> for like the Super Nintendo or whatever it was. It was like, okay, cool, yeah, they're hitting on the fact, you know, because 8-bit era, 16-bit era, 64-bit era, like, they kind of, you know, were, were working on a spec thing, but... Um, the GameCube really wasn't hitting on specs. I know it was at one point called the uh, Nintendo 128 or something like that for 128 <laughs> bits. Um, but when they actually announced everything, like they didn't focus on the specs. They didn't focus on specs for the Wii. They didn't focus on specs for the Wii U. Um, so I'm exactly. kind of excited about that. Uh, that they're like, dude, we're we're gonna tell you the specs. Like, what? Awesome. Because that's exactly what Sony and Microsoft did. Like, hey, we have eight gigs, we have a DDR, we have a quad quarter processor, we have this GPU. Well, like the Nintendo doesn't do that, and they're doing it. Um, that's what the fans want to hear. They want to hear about the specs. You know, for exactly. The console so they hopefully, buy. Yeah, hopefully, that's a sign that it's heading towards what I hope that's heading towards. Um, the specs could also be completely underwhelming and end up not impressing anyone. But to me, you don't boast about specs unless you're proud about those specs. Man. Yeah. Um, so if they're going to boast specs, it's got to be something that they feel people are going to want to hear. Um, I'd be really interested if they if they come out and they say they're using the HBM memory GPU. I'm gonna I'm gonna pee my pants because that's like brand new shit that just came out this year. Um, yeah, if they, I'm not saying they will, and I don't think they will. But if the NX has like 4K, I, I would pee my pants. Like <laughs> it, I, it yeah, won't. I, no, it no, won't. no, no, no. If it somehow has 4K gaming, I can see it having 4K streaming. But if it comes out and it says, yeah, our, all, like, all NX games are native 4K. Like, not just upscaled. Like, that's the resolution we make games at. Like, I... I would cry. Yeah, Sony, Sony and Microsoft can go cry in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, the PlayStation 4K and the... I mean, they're not going to do it because it's going to be, like, an $800 console to pull that off. I would um, pay. I, but, I would, like, I, I, would, I, would. I well, it's cheaper because to get that quality at uh, for a um, desktop computer, you got to spend almost $1,500. Yeah. Um, so it's it's still cheaper, but man. Uh, so yeah, so that's just really exciting stuff. I just really wanted to bring that up because that's Nintendo doesn't talk like that, and this is a new president um, who I think has a totally different mentality. Uh, what we have to remember Unlike about this, this guy, yeah, what we have to remember about this president who, because a lot of people don't know much about him, he was the president and CEO of Nintendo of America um, for many many years before he went back to Japan. Uh, and he was always quiet in the background. He wasn't like a figurehead, like say Reggie it can be at times. Uh, so we never saw him growing up. So that's why we don't really know of him. But you know, he played a big role in Twilight Princess having the art style it ended up with. You know, he kind of told AJ Noma that uh, people in the West aren't going to play Wind Waker two, so please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, whether or not he was right or wrong, you know, whether or not you like him being involved in that. He did have a say. Like he seems to understand Western gamers a bit more. So like he knows that Western audiences, maybe not Japan, but in the West, we care about specs and it being something because like specs alone can make a console attractive. Oh yes. Um, so yeah, I mean, think about it. When I look at my computer, I'm not looking up what games it plays. I'm looking at the specs, and I buy the one that has the best budget for the best specs. Um, and, pe- and people buy the PS4 because of its specs, and it doesn't have any games. <laughs> some games. Some games. Wait, you don't want to play the Ratchet and Clank reboot? <laughs> yeah, I actually do want to play that. That looks fun. I See, I haven't played any of the Ratchet and Clank games, so it does look fun. But I heard from people who have it, it's like, well, it's kind of boring because it's like the same weapons they've been using for like 20 years. And, oh, not 20 years, like 10 years. And, yeah. Um, anyways, so that's all good fun. Um so yeah, you know, let us know what you guys all think of all this craziness. I know a lot of you are going to hate on us because we're not ultra negative like so many people are right now. Um, I see a lot of reasons that Nintendo is going in this direction. I think it's a hard pill 
for us as fans and consumers to swallow to realize that Zelda is really what they're bringing to E3. There's nothing else for Wii U. Uh, if you really wanted that exclusive Zelda game on Wii U, you're not getting it. And, Go play Hyrule Warriors. Uh, <laughs> Hyrule. It's not a Zelda game. Um, <laughs> and it's better on the new 3DS. Um, but yeah, no, it's it, it's good. We're going to have a really grim year this year. Uh, basically, if you are someone that gets excited by news, this is going to be a great year for you because you're going to get a bunch of Zelda news, a bunch of NX news. Unfortunately, if you're someone who is a gamer and actually wants to play games, you're not going to have much to play from Nintendo this year. Um, and it's a sad reality that here we are at the end of April and we already know that there's going to be very little coming this year for us. Um, yeah. So I understand being upset. I understand the raging. I also think that Nintendo, as a business, had to look in the mirror and make a very tough decision to have this kind of year happen um, so they could really get the next generation right. I think what fans always have to consider is that as a business, Nintendo's 3DS and Wii U are both the worst-selling hardware they've ever released. Um, well, most like main generation of hardware. Obviously, the Virtual Boy is the worst. Um, so... We have to remember, even the 3DS, for the $58 million it sold, it's still the least selling main iteration of hardware Nintendo's ever had for handhelds. So yeah. Nintendo is swallowing a really tough pill right now and refocusing and reimagining everything they are doing heading forward. Um, and this is the first year we're really getting hit by it. I thought we were going to get hit by it last year. And then the Splatoon ended up being awesome and Mario Maker ended up being awesome. Um but this is the year. We just got Star Fox. Better enjoy it because you, you can play Paper Mario Color Splash later. <laughs> There's your holiday 2017 or 2016 game. Oh, don't forget uh, oh. Pro- Project Giant Robot. No, oh, that's still TBD, so it's probably never going to come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm really sorry. If I understand why you guys are upset, um, but... I'm really excited for 2017. I wish I could just fast forward in time and skip this whole dead period. Like, let's have, like, skip to E3, great. Skip to NX announcement, great. Then let's go to 2017 and actually play this this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. Darren, you got anything else to add? Any last words? You, want? you know what? You know what? One thing we did forget to talk about. Um, one little tidbit, and it's up to you guys how much this matters to you. Uh, there was a new piece of Zelda U art released when they were talking about Zelda U. Oh yeah, the art. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's not it's not huge news in and of itself because it doesn't show you anything new that we haven't seen before. Um, but official art's always really cool, and it's nice that we have a different image of like Zelda U we can now use with our news posts instead of using the same six screenshots <laughs> over and over again. Let me tell you, it gets really old. Um, yeah, it does. So like. So, like, in this in this art, uh, I'll put it up here in the video. Um, you know, Link's still in his blue tunic that he's had on. The design doesn't look any different. He's got his energy arrow, whatever it is, up with his bow, uh, which looks you know, like the hero's bow or whatever. He and has the, that, book. the book prominently on his side. For those who don't know, that book first appeared in 13 seconds of footage last year after the reveal of Twilight Princess HD. So I forgive you if you didn't know about it. However, if you've been following our site this whole time, We've talked about it like numerous times. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's important, but yeah, because it's, it's that's, showed up in the that's footage. That's kind and of the art. it. I mean, there's there's a shield. Yeah, there's like a wooden shield or like a wood backing on a shield, and then uh, a scabbard, which looks like just a, a normal sword holder. Um, oh, and arrows. He does have a little arrow, his arrow pouch thing on his back, on his belt. Um, so, uh, what some people have pointed out, no surprise, because it's old Informer, it's been this big controversy, this is the most male-looking version of the character we've gotten so far. Um, oh, boy. So, I, I, I hate bringing it up, but, like, that's what you guys are saying, so I'm just bringing it up. Um, it's definitely, like, this is the link we, I, I, I guess, I don't know, all know and love, but all recognize as the main protagonist of Zelda, so... Um. Yeah, I, I don't know what that means for the rumor on gender options or any of that stuff, but I do know that I really like this art, and I think yeah. Link looks like a badass. So. I either want Link to be like 
an amazing like He Man, like yeah, so tough. Or oh boy, gender options. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Darren, just stop. <laughs> you just made this whole ZI Reacts video is gonna get massive dislikes on that one comment. Hey, you still no. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm really sorry, guys. We're gonna cut this short now. I'm not trying to silence Darren. Just we've been hated on enough lately. Let's yeah. just. Well, we have enough sad news to worry about. Zelda U's been delayed. Whatever I'm, Nintendo decides to do with Link, I'm okay with. And I'm sorry, you guys. I, I'll get to play Zelda U this year. You just won't get to. Unless you're at E3. Yeah, unless you're part of the media or you want to pay $1,000 to go to E3. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but hey, I'll be recording videos and have lots of great stuff, so you'll be able to enjoy me playing the game and everyone likes watching like twitch streams right so it'll be kind of like that except not live and probably in crappy quality <laughs> and bad audio and lots of background noise but hey otherwise it's just like a twitch stream <laughs> tune into the site at a3 if you want zelda news because we will have a lot oh my gosh yes we will all right that's all we got for today thank you for listening to the ci reacts and uh probably the next time we'll be having one of these bad boys is e3 so yeah all right Later, folks.